back to the Gridiron Expert, bringing you some of the best college football news, predictions, and analysis. Our next bowl game takes us to Nashville as Mississippi State takes on Louisville in the Music City Bowl. The Bulldogs being led by Joe Moorhead once again, getting into the postseason for the second straight year under him, despite underachieving these past two seasons. But getting to the postseason, that is what matters the most. Louisville, on the other hand, Scott Satterfield engineered one of the greatest turnarounds in college football this season, inheriting a Louisville team that went 2-10 in 2018 and getting them to 7-5 in a bowl appearance in 2019. Unbelievable turnaround for Scott Satterfield, showing that his time at App State was not a fluke, and this guy certainly is the real deal and will have Louisville in ACC title contention very, very soon. But this game, guys, down in Nashville is Music City Bowl. It's going to be a really, really fun game between two teams that really know how to run the football. And we'll start with Mississippi State here. Their workhorse, their best player, has been the SEC leading rusher in Kylan Hill, who's rushed for 1,347 yards and 10 touchdowns this season. The Bulldogs collectively are averaging 226.9 rushing yards per game. So this team, you know, in years past, we've seen some, some very pass-heavy offenses. We've seen, you know, we had Nick Fitzgerald, who, yes, was dual threat, but was a heck of a passer. We saw Dak Prescott, uh, and now you've got Kylan Hill kind of leading the charge, uh, playing in his final game as a Bulldog before he goes pro, uh, but looking to break the Mississippi State rushing record for a single season and doing a phenomenal job trying to finish the year as the SEC leading rusher. The Bulldogs are averaging 27.6 points per game, but my biggest question coming into this one is who's going to be at quarterback? Who's going to be under center for Mississippi State? Joe Moorhead has kind of been mixing it up a lot. I know injuries have dealt with that as well, but you've got Tommy Stevens, who transferred from Penn State to come be with Joe Moorhead, his former offensive coordinator with the Nittany Lions. And then you've got freshman Garrett Schrader, who's putting up some solid numbers this year. Just as a freshman, over 1,100 passing yards and eight touchdowns, but has six rushing touchdowns to go along with 587 rushing yards. So he is kind of throwing, showing that dual threat capability. Steven started multiple games in November, but Schrader was given the nod in the Egg Bowl over Ole Miss. So you wonder who's going to be under center for this Music City Bowl. Regardless of who it is, you're putting a quarterback in there that has seen solid game experience in 2019 and won't, shouldn't have to do too much because they're just going to be handing the ball off to Kylan Hill. For Louisville, to go along with the fantastic turnaround that Scott Satterfield has done this season, listen to the numbers. In 2018, under Bobby Petrino, they averaged just 19.8 points per game offensively, an abysmal mark to go along with an abysmal 2-10 season. Under Scott Satterfield, just one year, he took a 19.8 mark and turned it in to 32.7 points per game. That is truly unbelievable. That's about a 13-point differential, nearly two touchdown differential in points per game scored. All the credit in the world to Satterfield and what he's doing with the talent that the Cardinals have on their roster. And they have a very, very balanced team. They're averaging 228 passing yards per game, led by Mikhail Cunningham, over 1,700 yards, 20 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. But kind of like Schrader, showing that dual threat capability, over 400 rushing yards and 6 touchdowns on the year for Cunningham. But they do average 214.1 rushing yards per game. And you've got JVN Hawkins, who's rushed for over 1,400 yards and 8 touchdowns. Extremely fast, extremely elusive running back for the Cardinals. So... We're not kidding when we say these two teams know how to run the football. Uh, if you like ground and pound, if you like to see uh, teams trying to win it in the trenches, this is going to be the game for you because you're going to see a lot of running in this game. When you look at the defense, guys, when you've got a, two teams that run the ball so well, you need to look and see who's better against the run, who's, who's been solid all season long, playing teams that can run effectively, and really just who's going to be able to get a stop in a game like this. Uh, unfortunately, this is a trouble area for both teams, Mississippi State and Louisville, neither really having a solid defense. But I would go out and say that this is probably more of a concern for Louisville than it is for Mississippi State. 
Each team happens to allow more points than they actually score. We mentioned those points earlier. Mississippi State allowing 28.1 points per game while scoring 27.6. Louisville allowing 33.8 points per game while putting up 32.7. So not major differences, but still shows how poor these defenses have played across the board in 2019. And the funny thing for me for Louisville, we mentioned this is a bigger cause of concern for them uh, than for Mississippi State. And, and here's why we're saying that. Uh, you look at Louisville this year, they're 7-5. and five. Uh, If you had to have a motto for the Cardinals this season, it would be win or get blown out. Because that's basically what's happened to Louisville all season long. They've got seven wins, but out of their five losses, the closest one was 11 points. That game coming to a mediocre Florida State squad. Uh, but they got annihilated by Clemson. They got, of course, most people did, but annihilated by Clemson. And then annihilated by Kentucky in the season finale. And we'll touch on that in a second. But the Cardinals are allowing 211 rushing yards per game. That's a very, very bad mark to have going up against a very elite runner in Kylan Hill who leads the SEC in rushing yards. Keep in mind, the SEC way more competitive than the ACC across the board, especially the SEC West, as Hill has faced teams like Alabama and LSU and Auburn multiple or all across the board this season. You can even throw Texas A&M in there. Wouldn't really include Arkansas or Ole Miss in that category, but playing in the rugged SEC, uh, going up against a Louisville team that allows 211 rushing yards per game, major, major cause for concern. So you look at this, you look at the offensive side of the ball, you look at the defensive side of the ball, and you ask us who we picking. Uh, Because right now the spread is Mississippi State by four, at least at the time of this filming, that is who is favored in this game. And, and I will tell you what, uh, I'd, lo- I'd love to see where the spread would be for this game if Kylan Hill was not playing. The Bulldogs are already going to be without their cornerback and Cameron Dantzler sitting out in preparation for the 2020 NFL Draft. Thankfully for them, Kylan Hill will be playing. And because of him, that is why we are picking the Bulldogs to win the Music City Bowl. And let me explain ourselves a little bit more here. Louisville did play an SEC opponent this season. They, of course, played Kentucky. Always play them every year in state rivalry game. Against Kentucky, they allowed the Wildcats to rush for 517 yards. The Wildcats winning that game 45-13 in that season finale. But 517 rushing yards allowed to Kentucky. A team that in that game, because they've had to deal with Lynn Bowden at quarterback all season long practically, and of course have run the ball, one of the most elusive players in college football. In that game, Kentucky had four passing yards. Just four. Four passing yards, but had 517 rushing yards. And now Louisville's going up against a Mississippi State team that we mentioned has Kylan Hill, but also has a much more competent passing attack than Kentucky does, regardless of who's under center, whether that be Tommy Stevens or Garrett Schrader, who... If I were Louisville, I'd hope more for Tommy Stevens because Schrader does have that dual threat capability, making their life on defense even that more difficult. So considering what happened in their season finale, looking at the stats, considering that the talent that Mississippi State has despite going to 6-6 six and six this season, I like Mississippi State in this game. I just don't see Louisville's defense finally waking up in the season finale, in this bowl game. Uh, even though it's a big deal, even though these players are going to be extremely motivated, I just don't see the Cardinals getting it done. The Bulldogs win the Music City Bowl, finish the season with a 7-6 and six record, but I will say this, Louisville loses, but it will be their first loss by one possession in this game, and the future looking extremely bright for Scott Satterfield and his Cardinals. So guys, thank you so much for watching us here on YouTube. Make sure to like this video and check out everything we have for you in the description below. The spread pick for the Music City Bowl, as well as every other college football bowl game spread pick from us, will be over at thegridironexpert.com. Exclusive college football content offers in the description as well. And once again, thank you for watching. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on The Gridiron Expert.